I live in Los Angeles, and I'm a defense attorney for one of the largest defense firms in Southern California. I defend California employers and developers against workers' compensation claims and in construction defect litigation. Have you ever been deposed before? You have to be tough in my line of work, otherwise you get pushed around and taken advantage of and you can't do an effective job for your clients. I will caution you that myself or other counsel may make comments at trial which could prove damaging to your credibility and ultimately to your claim. I get pushed every day and I push back. Okay, I'm heading out to Mid Wilshire. There's a construction site, a roofing okay. inspection going on. I am a pro at dealing with difficult personality types like you find in construction, like you find in the foremen that run these big jobs. When's the inspector supposed to be back out here again? Uh, probably next week. Does that put you behind schedule? Nope, right on schedule. Everything's going along just fine. Hey! If Mr. Trump hires me, he's getting the entire package. He's getting a fighter. Hey! He can pretty much put anything in my hands and it'll be taken care of the right way and with class. Stephanie, did James hold up his part of the partnership in your opinion? I think he did, Mr. Trump. Absolutely. He's a great partner to work with. Yeah, but if I listen to you, I should just hire James right now. Actually, if you listen to me, you should hire me and let me hire James to work for me. <laughs> Why are you better than him? You know, behind every great director, there's a great producer. James was definitely a good director, but you need someone behind the scenes moving everything along, making sure the whole big picture comes together, and that's where I come in. And, and that was my role right. here. Okay. I want to ask each of you, which would you choose, and what do you think, what contribution would you make? Stephanie? I would choose your project in the Caribbean, Mr. Trump, because I believe that I bring not only a legal and business background to it, having been counsel for developers in construction, I understand it from the ground up, whether it's geotechnical issues or roofing issues, I get it. And I can handle both the golf course aspects okay. and the building aspects. But it's the aspects. Caribbean? Yes. Okay. So, Stephanie, if you're me, who do I pick? I say you pick me, Mr. Trump. You sure? Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. Stephanie, you're hired. Good luck. Good luck. As you just saw, Donald Trump picked his new apprentice on Sunday night live from the Hollywood Bowl. Here's the big winner. Please welcome Stephanie Schaefer. I did it on a lark to start with. Mm -hmm. And then, and you know, I saw 5,000 people standing around this building. And I said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on my case and I'm going to stand here in line and we'll see if they, you know, if I stand out. And they called me back and one but thing led you, to another. I'm saw... looking at this as a segue into the construction industry. Mm -hmm. I think that bringing my legal background into it and, the, you know, the fact of the matter is I'm a lawyer. I defended developers in construction defect litigation. So I think that uh, I will, I'm not really leaving law. I'm just bringing law into construction and refocusing on construction. And what a beautiful marriage of those two worlds. It really is. <laughs> This cutie is uh, Hugh R. Hope, and he is the annual bear for the Daffodil Days campaign for the American Cancer Society. And this is a three-month campaign that the ACS, American Cancer Society, runs, where they try to raise as much money as possible to go toward cancer research, not just breast cancer, which I know is very hyped lately, but all types of cancer. A lot of these cancers um, are preventable with lifestyle changes, is that right? Very much so. Um, the number one cause of death in the United States this year will be, well, as of last year, was lung cancer. And that is completely preventable just by stopping smoking, a healthier diet, exercise, cardiovascular fitness. All of those factors go into preventing the onset of cancer. So if people make those little changes, they can really live longer, happier lives. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.